Hi, my name is Chien and welcome back to the MySQL Server Learning Course and today I will guide you how to use the Navigate tool to uh, import and export the Zora database into a script Okay, so when you are working in a team, so you have to deliver the shortcode and also the database to the, so the team member So in this, uh, uh, deliver the the um, database file into a for the team member so you are able to generate the database into the a script which will contain the script to create a table structure and also contain the script to create a database so the, the data into the table okay so in this video i will guide you how to do it and actually i have finished another video with the same content by using the my PHP admin to to do this action. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, you open Navicat on the PC, and currently I'm using the trial version. The lat the latest version for now is twelve. Okay, so double click on the MySQL Server Connection on the left panel to get access into the database list. Okay, now for example, I have learned MySQL Server database here. Double click on this. And now I want to export all, all of the table, the data in the table, and also view and something like that into a script and how to do it. Okay, so you right click on the learn my sequence DB. You can see here under the contact menu we have the dump sequence server file. We have two options. The first one is structure and data, and the, the second one is structure only. The first option means when you select this one and you import the uh, execute the job, so it will import all of the data and also the script to create a table structure into a sequence file and if you always select the option 2 structure only so it will only export the script to create a, a database create a table create a view procedure for you and don't have any insert query to create the data for your table okay so had i hope that my explanation is helpful for you and it, it, it should make clear for all. Okay, so now in this video, I select the first one is structure and data. I will, I have to to the select the destination to save the file. I will select it into the download save and it finished already. Okay, so now I will come to the downloads folder and try to open it and see what okay here you can see on the top we have some information of the tool which we need to create the script yes the same thing this only generated the script to create a table and the data to insert into that table. So, okay, so before close this one. So now, when you deliver the script to the, the friend or call it, so you, they have to create a database name first. Okay, so now I will show you how to do it. Right click on the my sequence server connection here. If the name will be different in your PC, you click on the new database. I will enter any name. For example, this one I will enter GN30. I just says UTF8 collaboration e U tf it you record click on OK button yes double click on change that thing to see currently we don't have anything here 
So now I will go ahead to right click on Gen Testing Database. And we have an option to execute sequence server file in from the contact menu. Go ahead to select on open this. And here on this dialog under the generation tab, you can see we have we have some information in the server name in my sequence server connection. Yeah, and database name is gn testing. Oh, the testing is typo wrong. So okay, sorry for that. You click on file and select the script you want to be import into your PC. Yes. So now I select the my sequence server database. Encoding, blah blah. Okay. So now I will temporarily keep this default. You go ahead to see look here. We have no for now, and click on the start button to execute the the, the, the job to copy and copy the script from le from learn my sequence db dot sql into new database name is chintete. Click on start button to execute the action. Okay, so when you finish, uh, see the finish successfully here, that means you have just created the, uh, the table and in insert the data from the script into this DB successfully. Click on close button to close this dialog. You right click and refresh this. Double click. When you double click on the table, you can see here we have two cut two table. That is the category and the, the second one is product. It looks the same thing in the learn my sequence server DB. Learn. Okay. And now I will select it. Yes, that that is that is the data inside category table. And this is the data for product table. Okay. And if you have the view from the previous from the sort table, so when you perform the, the action, so it will display the same thing in the destination uh, database and table. Okay. Uh, I think that's all for today and when you finish this video in today, you know how to use the Navicat tool, the your powerful tool to work with the MySQL server database to generate, import, and something like that. Okay, so this one is my channel. You can go to my channel over the browser youtube.com slash gnvn. The channel name is Learn Programming Language. We where I have a lot of video here. It regarding to to my to sequence server, Oracle, uh, Microsoft, ASP.NET, MVC, blah blah, and some something like that on this channel. We have a lot of things, and I think it will help food for you when you go there and spend the time for investigate and see and follow all of the video and after that you know what I mean and how to do or how to become a better programmer in the team okay and this one is a playlist for my sequence for testing in my channel okay so I hope that helped and feel free to let me know if you have any question bye bye and see you later